Hello everybody, this is Janice. Welcome to my channel and I have yet another stamp set introduction for you. Another one that is a bundle. This one is another lovely one. This is really, really pretty and um, I'm going to find lots of ways to use this one. It's called the Swirly Seashells and look how beautiful. These would be beautiful in even um, Bible journaling for you Bible journaling girls or to decorate a planner um, or to do home decor like do little frames and um, add some ribbon and make them into little ornaments like if you wanted to make um, an ocean themed little Christmas tree or something like that or wreath yeah a wreath hmm okay that gives me an idea. So I'm going to show you another way that you can die cut these if you're not into the whole like using the stamp uh, perfect like I showed you in the last couple videos. I showed you using this tool. Um, you can also, sorry, my cat is up here and she's, she's trying to get into her gangster mode because it's almost six o'clock almost beating time. She thinks she's in charge, I'm telling you. I mean, she kind of is, I guess, because I do what she says. Otherwise, she wrecks my craft room. It's not true. It's true. I'm not even making it up. Wish I was. Okay, so if you noticed, I put that little foam sheet that comes with your stamp sets, and that is so you get a very good impression. Or we could flip over the Versamat. This is the Versamat. This side is great for measuring and centering. And, and it's a self-healing mat so you can cut on it with a craft knife. But when you flip this over, it has a cushiony, lay, you know, it's cushiony. So that you can use this for your stamping as well. So let's just do that. And then I have our three by three block. I've had this for years and years. You can see that it's a little bit chipped because I've dropped it a few times, but it still works great. I love our blocks because they have these nice places for you to hold and grip them. And they're nice and thick so you can get good pressure because when you're stamping, that's what it's about. It's about getting good, you know, be able to stabilize it. All right, so I'm going to just ink these up for you so you can see what they look like. Here comes the cat. She may see her go by. Okay, look how pretty that is. All right, clean it with our stamp scrubber. By the way, you can run these under, I like to wash it at the end of the day when I've, you know, had a nice long crafting session like today I've just really been with you guys all day YouTube all day long look at the sea star so yeah so like I was saying I'll run it under warm water with soap and then just let it dry overnight so there's the sea star And if you're wondering what I put on it, I use this spritz cleaner. And the way, the reason I um, believe in this stuff is because it does condition your stamps. These are high um, quality photopolymer, and you do want to clean them because they're a they're a polymer. Um, I was noticing that the ones I've been using at my workshops, where we're just using wet wipes. Like it was getting lots of fibers and they, were, they looked like they were drying out so I think the conditioning is really important so that's good for me to share with you because I wouldn't want you to do anything that would compromise the quality of your stamps so just letting you know that look at this big one this would be good for your kids um, science project or you know any kind of project where they need to maybe they could learn about what all these shells like what are these you know like you're they could study about sea stars they could set up you know what are the difference between the different kinds of shells and what kind of animals live in them and so it could even be educational there you go you could, you 
listed under your homeschool supplies. <laughs> Whatever it takes, right? <laughs> okay. And then we're going to do the scallop like over here. Okay. Now, this whole thing is not going to fit in my die cut machine. And if you don't know what I mean by a die cut machine, there's different options out there. There are ones called Cuddlebug. There's different companies like um, there's a Cuddlebug, there's Sizzix makes one, um, Spellbinders makes one. You can find them at Michael's and Joann's and Hobby Lobby and places like that. You can find them on Amazon. But best of all, you know what I think is the best thing to do is just really look at a garage sale. I'm going to tell you that this baby right here is old. Okay, they, you can't buy this pink one anymore. I bought it for 30 bucks. Okay, a brand new Sizzix um, Big Shot will will in the range of like over a hundred dollars. Okay, it's a great machine and it will last you. And if you don't have to wait because you have plenty money or whatever, somebody wants to bless you, then go for it. Get the new one. It'll be nice and pretty and brand new. This one is really well used, but it works like a charm, okay? So, I have the magnetic plate, good news, I found it in my attic. It normally comes with a different plate. This was a separate one, but you don't need to buy the separate one. It's just that this is magnetic and it has all these magnets through it so that um, you put one cutting plate down at the bottom. It comes with these two cutting plates, They're just acrylic. And, and you can buy replacements at the craft store. And so because it's magnetic, I can now get my dies. And the bundle, remember these bundles are 25% off through the end of March. I haven't seen a sale like that. I haven't even been with Close to My Heart for a year. So I don't know, you know, their patterns or whatever, but I have not seen a sale like this where it's all 25% off like that so cool so you find the corresponding die here she comes gangster yeah what do you need she's letting me know don't forget to feed me she's making a she's being a nuisance right now okay so anyway you put these on here because it's magnetic it will now I find that if I try to put too many it's like they interfere with one another so I'm not gonna put that one next to that one yet I'm gonna do it on the next pass but um, here's the sand dollar and I don't know if it's because like I mean this is kind of like a science thing too. watch what happens if I oops, oh no. okay, I'm alright dropping stuff like I don't know if it's going through the paper like the magnetic forces I'm just going to cut them apart like that but see this is the kind of stuff that I'm trying to prevent my girls at my stamp club to have to do is you know cutting extra I just want it to be like fun for them you know and if you want to join like if you're one of my friends on Facebook and you know me from church or whatever and you want to join there are spots opening up but not till May okay right now we are full um, however if I get enough people we can always start another group we could start a Facebook I mean a yeah just a Facebook one where you don't have to come I could just make you the kits and mail them to you see see how much better this works Oh, I forgot to stamp one. I forgot the long, like, sea snaily one. Alright, we'll save that one with the other one. So, okay, so this is how this works. Um, but yeah, about the club, we can, we can start another one. I just don't like to have too many people on one because that means that then that group's commitment is long. I would like to kind of keep it 
to like six months so that every six months you can reevaluate and decide well is this working for me is this working my budget I mean people's lives change and so I know I know that first first hand that you know what you could afford at one point you know you might want to say well we need to kind of cut something out so I, I get that um, so try not to do like 12 members because it's just too much you know but six right now we have eight and it's working fine everybody's pretty happy with it but we are going to have some openings so okay so see how I did that so now I've got these all cut out okay and so pretty right cute these are pretty really pretty I love it my friend Yvette she made some for her granddaughter's birthday party and she put them on hair barrettes and then gave them as I think she colored them obviously and maybe she I think she dipped them in UT or something and then she uh, gave them to them at the party as a party favor because it was a little mermaid theme party so she's awesome with the party things let's see if this one's gonna fit here Yes, yes it will. So let's do this really quickly. I am running out of time. Let's do it here, memento. So yeah, so if you're interested, go over, find my close to my heart at Busy Crafting. You can um, face, what do you call it face? You call it, um, you can send me a friend request and that way I know that you're interested and we can message each other or something like that and we can get the details and get it all going for March again it's March right now we are in I'm sorry I keep saying March May not till May But we try to get everybody on board at the same time so that everybody gets, you know, because it's a commitment. So, it, you know, we want everybody to have the same weight, commitment weight, I guess, is what I'm saying. I forgot the sea star. I was supposed to do it. Too busy chatting. There we go. Just spin it and spin it until you're done. little one that will cut the, the size dies that's made by spell binders it will not fit embossing folders it's not wide enough but if you're interested let me know um, and I can tell you about it get, send you a photo post it and if you're interested in it I would love to sell it so I can use the money to get more stamps if you know what I mean and get more ink and to my heart product so all right so there we go that is our beautiful lovely what did I call it seashell swirly seashells it looks like um zentangle if you know about zentangle it's just really cute and artsy and and pretty and all of that so great for cards and great for scrapbook layouts you know like maybe making little clusters and stuff so cute makes me want to make a beach page I do have a lot of beach photos from the weekend the girls weekend I just had I could totally throw one together but anyway Thank you for stopping um, by and watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment. And like I said, go over to Facebook and look for Close to My Heart, Busy Crafting. Is it Busy Crafting? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm trying to get this whole thing. Uh, worked out but um, see if you can find that okay thanks for watching bye